New tonight, an I-Team investigation. Of course, parking in Boston isn't cheap, not at all. But we found a way you can park all day without paying a penny. Use someone's handicapped parking placard to score a free spot. Despite a new state law to crack down on fraud, we keep finding people cheating the system. Tonight, the I-Team's Ryan Kath confronts the drivers and asks what should be done to curb the abuse. I wanted to ask you about the handicapped parking placard that you're using to park for free all day. For me? Yeah. Oh, I know I have that car. This car right here. It's not mine. Oh, really? Day after day, the I-Team watched this construction worker finish up his shift in Boston Seaport District and then return to his Toyota sedan with the handicapped placard hanging in the rearview mirror. Even on days when he hitched a ride with a friend, he brought the placard along to score the free spot. Hey. Who does that placard belong to? He's my uncle. Your uncle's placard? Yeah. It belongs to a woman. Yeah. The worker decided his best response was to walk away from our questions. Wanted to ask you about the handicap placard that you've been using to park for free. Whose placard is that? The I-Team learned the answer is a 62-year-old woman. We saw him repeatedly parking his pickup truck at meters near his project site. Do you have an answer for why you're using someone else's handicap parking placard? And this worker's Nissan SUV was a fixture on D Street. He seemed nervous to spot our camera one day, first hiding behind a snowbank, then quickly scampering to his car to remove his wife's placard. State law allows anyone with one of these showing in the windshield to park for free at meters. And that's what caught the I-Team's attention, seeing car after car with a placard hanging all day long. What you've described is absolutely, you know, in violation of the law. Senator Eileen Donahue recently wrote a bill which increases fines and penalties for placard abuse. It's really to discourage and disincentivize people from using these inappropriately. But like the worker using someone's placard that expired in October, it doesn't seem like anyone is worried about getting caught. The I-Team learned Boston Transportation parking officers patrolling the streets don't even have the authority to enforce suspected placard abuse. It's a reason why a recent Inspector General report estimated the current system is costing cities like Boston millions of dollars per year in revenue. What do you think should happen with this parking meter exemption? I think we should look at it in further detail. I do see a lot of abuse. Disability Law Center Director Christine Griffin says with parking meters in Boston more accessible than ever, maybe it's time to make everyone pay. I support this because it actually treats people with disabilities equally. But for now, it seems the only deterrent is public shaming on TV. No, it's not mine. This isn't your car right here? No. No? Mm -mm. We've seen you driving it before. This worker choosing a long walk instead of admitting this is her Lexus SUV with a 78-year-old woman's placard hanging in the mirror, leaving the evidence parked in the seaport late into the night. To tackle this problem, some states use a two-tier system. That means people who have disabilities that prevent them from being able to put coins in a meter continue parking for free, but everyone else with a placard has to pay. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.